Converting ML to MG, Understanding the Conversion. Hello, and welcome to this educational journey. Today, we'll be discussing an important topic in science and chemistry, the conversion factor from milliliters, ML, to milligrams, MG. It's crucial to understand that this isn't a straight conversion like turning miles into kilometers, but involves understanding the substance's specific properties. What are ML and MG? First, let's break down what ML and MG stand for. Milliliters, ML, is a unit of volume in the metric system, commonly used to measure liquids. On the other hand, milligrams, MG, is a unit of mass in the same system, typically used to quantify the amount of a substance. Can we directly convert ML to MG? The key question that comes next is, can we directly convert ML to MG? The answer is no. These two units measure different aspects of a substance, one its volume, the other its mass. To convert ML to MG, you need an additional piece of information, the substance's density. Role of density in conversion. Density, in simple terms, is the amount of mass per unit volume. It's usually expressed in gram per milliliter or kilogram per cubic meter. The density of the substance you're dealing with gives you the conversion factor to go from volume, ML, to mass, Mg. The general formula to find the mass when you know the volume and density is, mass equals volume x density. How to apply this conversion? To apply this conversion, we first need to convert the density from gram per milliliter to milligram per milliliter, since 1 gram equals 1000 milligrams, then multiply the volume in ml by the density in milligram per milliliter. The result will be the mass in mg. Here's the formula again, adjusted for units. Mass, mg, equals volume, ml, x density, milligram per milliliter. In conclusion, the conversion from ml to mg isn't a direct one and hinges on the density of the substance you're working with. It's a perfect example of how different aspects of science intertwine. Always remember to first check the density of your substance and ensure your units align before performing the calculation. I hope you found this video helpful and enlightening. Stay curious, keep learning, and until next time.